Hey everybody, it's Dion. I'm back again. It's episode three of my vlog. Oh, you guys might be wondering why am I wearing the same shirt? Well, people like it and I think I look cute in it. So um, I'll probably change it for the next episode, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, so episode three, I'm going to talk about traveling up and down the east coast so you know the mid-atlantic northeast a little bit of the southeast region as well um you know sometimes you got to go where the work is or you have to travel outside of your geographical area or your comfort zone so really quickly i'm going to go through a list i'm going to include links below as usual google stuff explore stuff give me your feedback let me know um, and I'll let you know which ones I've used as well, some which ones to stay away from, Tony Coach. Um, and um, here we go. Okay, so you can fly, right, totally. We all know that you can fly between New York, D.C., Boston, wherever. That may not always be an option for your wallet. There's also Amtrak, again, great, wonderful. There's a cafe car, there's libations, drinks, you know for the train ride. Um, again, may not always be affordable for your budget, but they do have some, you know, um, multiple trip packages and things like that. If you buy in advance, sometimes it's advantageous. Then, of course, there is you can rent a car, you know, um, between cities. I've heard like Alamo is really good. There's Enterprise, there's Hertz, you know, a bunch of rental car agents. Check around, use Priceline, shop around and see. You know what works best for your budget if, if you can drive and cover tolls and all that stuff and you know they'll come with a GPS or easy pass so there's options and then last but not least is the bus that's right since Greyhound there has been a onslaught of bus companies that will take you from Boston all the way down to Richmond and beyond I suppose so here's a quick list ready Okay, fasten your seatbelts. DC 2 NY. That's DC the number 2 NY. Boltbus.com, megabus.com. That's DC 2 NY.com. Boltbus.com, megabus.com, tripperbus, vamoosebus, greyhound.com, go to bus.com. That's G O T O B U S.com. That's like an orbits or or Priceline or Kayak for bus companies. I mean, it, it's not every bus service, but I think it's about maybe six to eight different companies that you can look and see at one time who's available for the particular trip that you're trying to go on. They also have other things. I mainly use it for when I'm trying to book a bus and I want to see, you know, of these six to eight companies who has a bus at the time that I want to leave. Um, there's also a Jitney I've heard that recently came about that goes between DC and New York. Uh, I think it's anywhere between $50 and $80 one way. But if anyone out there has ridden the Jitney, let me know, comment, and I'll cover it in another episode. There's Eastern's bus, which is located in Chinatown. It's one of the Chinatown buses. And then there's Ola bus. I haven't ridden Ola bus, but you know, I know it's a bus out there. I've used DC2NY. They're my first choice. I love them. Um, I've used Bolt Bus, Mega Bus. I've used Tripper Bus. I've never used Vamoose. I've used Greyhound. Greyhound's, Greyhound's gotten a lot better, okay? Gone are the days where there might be a homeless person on your bus. So there's Wi-Fi, there's outlets, there's an express service. And a lot of buses are leaving out of Union Station in D.C. and coming in or around or very near to Port Authority. So quickly, um, I want to cover, because I know you guys don't have a lot of time, the farther in advance you can book your ticket, the better. Print out your ticket if it says so, because some companies get really snarky about you not having a printed ticket. Have it ready on your phone. Do a screenshot of your ticket or ticket confirmation information. Write it down on a piece of paper just in case you can't print it out. In case your phone dies, it happens, and you need your confirmation number. Have a backup battery when you're traveling on the bus because there might not be an electricity or outlets. Um, bring a blanket. Sometimes it gets really cold on the bus. Also, um, dry clothes. I know it sounds weird, but you can some buses, some bus companies don't have a covered or a sheltered waiting area, and you're open to the elements. And it sucks if it rains and you get wet. 
and you have to sit for four hours with wet clothes. So dry clothes and or a poncho or umbrella. Um, Airplugs, oh, yeah, airplugs. Toilet paper, tissue, sometimes the bathrooms don't have it. Hand sanitizer. And last but not least, know exactly where your bus is picking you up from and dropping you off. There is nothing worse than scheduling a bus and then finding out you have to haul tail over to Timbuktu, which is 11th Avenue and like 33rd or 34th, which is where um, Boat Bus and Mega Bus picks up, which is near the Jacob Javits Center, which is near the Hudson River. So if you're taking a train to 8th Avenue, it's hella far. So just know where you're being dropped off and being picked up in whatever city you're um, leaving from or going to so it makes it easier and then really quickly if you're taking the bus no public transportation Google Maps is great about telling you what public transportation you can use or sign up for Zipcar or car to go or Enterprise um, car share or Hertz a lot of the major car companies now are creating competition for the car share I personally enjoy Zipcar. They have great member benefits for union members. They take care of you. They have an office where I can go to. I recently left something in a Zipcar in Baltimore. Another member returned it and I went to the Baltimore office and picked it up and they gave me a gift and you know it was just really awesome. So um, if you'd like to use Zipcar or become a member I can send you a referral and you get free driving credits. Um, yeah so that's it. That's what I take sometimes when I'm traveling up and down the East Coast from auditions or